this morning. I just woke up this morning feeling so sick and congested and like, I don't, I don't remember the time I felt this. I don't know, I just feel like I have a cold. I never have colds. But I just finished my transcendental meditation and washed my face. And I also just realized and remembered that the body is so much more powerful than we think it is. So instead of getting stuck in my head, I just breathed, I meditated, I just took like a lot of vitamin C and nanosoma, which is like this amazing, 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 oh my God. I guess this, it's made of, it's actually just sugar water, um, basically made from this plant in India called Jaggerty. It's like a sugar cane. And, um, I guess this Indian mystic actually had this vision one day of this being like the most healing, beautiful, you know, creation was to, to have this sugar water. And it's like, it's already just been the most powerful thing I've put in my body in so long. Um, I took it for a few weeks last month and it was the first month I didn't have period cramps since I was like in sixth grade. So we'll see if that happens again this month, but yeah. I've also been taking these vitamins like mushrooms because I feel like there's like reishi and chaga and ashwagandha. There's just so much out there on the, on the healing powers of mushrooms right now. So just gonna stretch a little today going to shoot guns with my family and see my extended family in western mass so i am pretty excited and then back to new york so i'm just gonna try to chug a ton of water take it easy take it slow i have one more appointment at the chiropractor in a few minutes so i have to get going to that but uh yeah Every day, I'm going to try to do some movement and stretching. That's my goal. I really want to exercise every day, but I'm also focusing on being gentle with myself and not pushing myself past my limits, past what's healthy for my body. I'm still so sore, recovering from running, working out, and just so many changes that have happened recently. So I'm just trying to take things easy, but I definitely need to stretch because oh, my muscles are all so tight. Um, this morning I had my second chiropractic appointment in a few days just to work on my back. I've been seeing the same chiropractor since I was three years old on the North Shore of Boston. Greg Garrity of Garrity Chiropractic, he's amazing. And I was just stretching in the morning, um, not to overdo it. I knew that I had to get to the chiropractor on our way to Western Mass, where we were going to see our cousins, our extended family, and actually go shooting today. So I just wanted to stretch out, not overdo it, not pull any muscles. So after my meditation this morning, I just did some stretches here on the bed, rolling out my hips and back and just breathing, basking in the sunlight and the last morning light and embracing being home, my childhood home. This is where I grew up and this was one of my shortest trips there, but I was so grateful today to wake up even though I was feeling a little bit under the weather, just practicing mind control and focusing on my health and everything I do have going for me right now, just being in a safe environment, a cozy bed, loving family, just trying to fill myself with gratitude and light 
moving my body in ways that just feel so good and so natural bracing the last moments at our little old house and I was just trying to center myself here I'm just centering myself getting ready to get in the car drive a few hours and go on an exciting journey amazing books I'm at my parents house right now my mom has the best collection of books these are just a few of them my mom is going to open her own state of the art library someday on our land that we purchased so stay tuned here we are at the gun range, and I know what some of you might be thinking, probably the same thing I'm thinking, what am I doing here? This is insane, um, but I'm here today with my mom and my beautiful cousin, aunt, family member Jody here in Western Mass, and she's giving us a lesson on shooting the lighting, but which is my first formal lesson with guns i've i think i've had yeah and loading the bullet in the magazine 22 semi-automatic here i am yep with the is it supposed to be coming out a little bit at the yeah. top like that yeah. the last one yeah that was quick yeah. that's good all right front to back oh all right it's rolling it's rolling just hold it okay. steady jody is such a pro yeah. okay okay she grew up with her dad it's okay. who was always a little bit out at the top. into shooting so she learned from an early age she inherited all of his guns so she has quite the collection it won't shoot now because it is there's no round in it. Jody, I'm trying to get Today Elsa. We shot some 22s, 9mm. Yeah, this wall just around us to get different angles. Okay. So pull it out and let it go. Now you're chambered. Okay. And you're ready to fire. All right. So mm -hmm. my hand is like, my other hand's like this. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Major mm -hmm. We work with later guns. Jump on you a lot. The next guns will jump on you, but this one will not. Okay. Have you found the red dot? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Beautiful. It's still shocking to me that I am doing this, but I'm also feeling like with the way that the world is right now, it's important to be able to defend yourself and utilize the freedoms that we have. It feels like so much has been taken away so from her civil civil liberties, and I just want to feel like I can defend myself if things ever got out of control. Beautiful. Okay. Want to shoot a revolver now? All right. And that's how it's done. Wait. All powder. No wow. kidding. That's what that is. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. I brought out handguns. Looks like a thing of lipstick. Does with your left hand. With my left hand. Yeah. Like that. A couple blocks. No, under here. Oh, under here. Yeah. Like this? So that you can. Here, I'm going to show yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, show it. Right. So I can turn this. I can rotate uh, this. Right? Okay. So. Like this. And then, yep. Yeah. And then we're here. And then these just go in like this. Yeah. And that is what what kind of gun is that, Elsa? A revolver, yes. What Master. millimeter? I don't know. What does millimeters mean? Um, well, it's just another form of measurement. It's a twenty two caliber. It's
literally nine millimeters across diameter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's also That's pretty much the same as a 38. The size of the gun or the bullets? What does that say? Bullet. And, and the, um, oh my. <laughs> Vocabulary is gone. And yeah. Also, has to, the gun has to be accepted. Yeah. Right, so it's this both. Okay. Okay. So you're All loaded. Right. So now I just push this up yep. in. Here you go. Click. And clean and like All right. Out and and then you're gonna like same, same search out that red dot. Same hold yep. as before, like this yep. kind of. Yep. And I don't even have to do anything else. Nope. All right. That's rolling. You have my whole body in the. Thing. Everything is rolling. Okay. <laughs> As I stand here with the gun, looking down the barrel, looking at the light, looking at the red dot, looking at the target, yep. and breathing, focusing, one hand over the other, holding it really tight. It's a sport. I was an athlete my whole life. Now it's going to be this feels natural. It feels light. natural to okay. you're gonna barely touch it. It's going to go off. Put your eye on something on a target. Right? Why is that? Because to you're, shoot. You're in single action. To follow through. And I'll explain that on the way home. <laughs> so you to aim at something. Now you're in double. To capture something. To win. What's to that? achieve what's something. That? To do yep. it right. To do it the best. To be the best. All I ever want to do is to be the best I can be. Even if it just means hitting the target. I definitely love knowing how to use a weapon. Weapons and guns used to scare me so much. Coming from a family that was referred to as hippies. I definitely was against this for a long time. So how many bullets does that take? That's 10. Oh, so it takes it 10 with like the other one. It does, yep. As the diameter. I feel good knowing, Knowing the basics, it's just good right. to know the basics you know, of anything and everything. That's that's what I think. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. I have to smile. It's it's just one of my goals in life is to kill what I eat to kill the animals I eat. That was my. I wasn't. I had a bad. I already go to local farms and markets to get my food, but I want to have the skills. I want to be able to kill what I'm eating. I think it's only right. And so this is the chance. This is my chance to learn. And I'm so grateful to have a family member that can teach me. Got it in there. Did it right. Keep it straight. <laughs> oh, man. Oh my God, I felt that. <laughs> this is really scary. I can feel it in my chest. I love hitting the target. I love hitting the bullseye one bullet after another. I feel so strong. I feel so powerful. <laughs> Even though shooting guns might seem like the opposite thing from doing Wait, there's yoga, more. There's, eating healthy. She dropped her bullets. Okay, is this rolling? 
It's rolling. It's still rolling. For me, yeah. whole body, okay. whole, whole body. Whole body. Yeah. During this time. And a girl. Oh shit. Well, I, okay. Nope. Just leave it. Just leave it. Okay. Yeah, my so, During this time, guns represent freedom. Beautiful. I'm a freedom fighter. I want to stand up for myself. I want to stand up for everybody. I want to be fearless. Some say that our liberties are being taken away, stripped down. I want to be the person who can stand up. All right. If there's anything I've learned over the past few years, it's that we need to stand up for our rights. We need to stand up for what we believe in. So many people think that gun owners don't care, that they're racist, that they're uneducated. It's the complete opposite. Of course, there are some types of demographics with anyone and everyone. How old do you have to be to shoot a gun in the United States? But in my experience, everybody who I've met with a gun that follows the proper rules and safety protocol oh, maybe. for gun ownership. You mean Uncle Timmy? Uh, her, her, Lauren? These are some of the most educated people, kind people, caring. Damn, girl. Wow, I am so lucky Jody is such a badass she is amazing i officially have the coolest family member and gun shooting teacher i can imagine that's what I want. <sighs> Is that a bullseye really gun. Wow. gun i love that gun yeah that's that's yours and that's yours really yeah. without so a red dot i was accurate mastering was gun safety okay all right Okay, so this one's all loaded. Seconds. It is. It's ready to go. Okay. What a beautiful autumn day. To be oh, there's boy. There's no red. No. You but, oh, you, she has no idea how to sights. how to use the, the sights. I've been taught, but she has not. Yeah. Back sight, uh -huh. front sight. You Working our way. Perfectly. Line up perfectly. perfectly that way. And that's my thing. All right. <laughs> and if you're right, so maybe guns. I got my eyes, Mom. I can only do one eye. <laughs> Some of the guns have a little red light <laughs> Jesus, son. It's just like that you can what? look at. And Some of them don't mess with her. <laughs> Both ways seem pretty easy. You just have to hold it tight, take control. So crazy how life works. Even though part of me still believes humanity is hypocrisy, I also think that we need to follow our intuition. We need to stick to our guns, literally. Pick a target, choose a goal, aim, press the trigger, pull the trigger. Nobody's going to do it for you. <laughs> she softens all up when she's posing with Love the guy. Love that song. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, don't be scared. You, wow, you're fine. Feels, it's tiny. It feels nice. It is tiny. But your hand is so much bigger. Yeah, no, my hand's so much bigger. Okay. You're fine. So just hang on to it. All ready to go. Same. And you know what the gun did on you, Johanna? It flipped right up, like I told you. I tried not no, to let hard. that happen. It's hard. I. This is not amazing. Unless you're.
you're Elsa, and that makes absolutely no sense. It's not that bad. Oh my God, it's no, not it's that not. bad. What are you talking yeah, about? Really it's not that bad. It. No, I'm gripping it hard. Yep, and that's the key. <laughs> this final awesome. little gun. Oh yeah, so now I just push sure. this. Yep. Technically so powerful. That a girl. Damn. Small gun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. shoot it again? Aren't these? No, Maybe. come on. Oh jeez. Otherwise we're done. Yeah. We might as well. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this. this telling you it's a little asshole <laughs> it, it did this to my father once and it you can stop at any point you can This final little gun we call the James Bond gun. It's so intense. You have to hold it so tight and so strong so it doesn't blow back at you. <laughs> what is violence? What is healing? Is it violent? Bad to be able to shoot to defend no, yourself. No, she doesn't want to kill your own food. It makes me oh, smile. Oh man! Jody. Thanks, Jody. Thank That's you, the only Jody. Um. <laughs> smile a little bit every day. Just shot guns. As a family, my mom and my oh, no. cousin and aunt. And I might have. Along with it. Lots, uh, lots of bullseyes. This one's mine. And Another one. holy day. And I will open up the door and let On the way home, home, we stopped and saw Jody's horses. The most healing thing. Animals. We are you. You are us. I am. <laughs>